All right, you guys, Mr. here, and welcome back to Regrowth. So, I was actually considering starting the episode very quickly, but I just ran into a few issues with his computer, so I'm going to be doing other stuff during the time that he's waiting. So, um, I think we'll start off with my tools first. If you look at the bottom, some of them look a little bit different, and that is because I remade every single one of them out of Osmium and Manulin to make them more durable, and now they all have really, really good stats. They all mine pretty quickly. Um, some of them have a pretty good durability, like this one. 10,000 durability, and still do a pretty decent amount of other stuff. And then I made a slime crossbow. Um, you use blue slime balls from Tinker's Construct. It looks like these. Uh, well, there's, yeah, gelatinous slime. And then you use these to make crystals. Because these slime crystals. Because this is what you use to make the parts for your crossbow or whatever you're using. But they have a really good, uh, draw speed and a decent arrow speed, so. Yeah. No, there's a lot of manulin in there. About to take that out. Um, so yeah, you just kind of build your parts using these because uh, blue slime is only a pattern and not an actual mold because you can't put them in, you can't melt blue slime in a smeltery. So that's why I had to do that. Uh, other than that, I've been working with the vat recently to make some magnesium dust to mix with our titanium to make actual titanium. You mix it with impure and you get the good stuff. Um, I finished up the blast furnaces. I guess I'll run over to the other place. So... I finished making the other two blast furnaces, so now we're, we're just, we just have three of them. They're all being constantly filled with Alimentum. Uh, I've also got a setup system going where you cook three stacks of this in the blueberry furnaces, and then you go and put them in there and they last for a while. I use these three furnaces, now known as our ladder, to cook the charcoal that we need to go into these. And I've been storing all of this up in over here. So we have a ton of coal coke right now, a ton of charcoal. Not so much wrought iron, but that's okay. And we have a ton of steel, which is very nice because steel might be kind of useful later. For at least a few things. Except for these don't actually work, do they? Nope. Anvil, steel gears, those are probably coming useful. Uh, a couple of machines. Let's see what else I can make. Oh, here's all the technical stuff. Gas mask, jetpack, seismic creator, scuba tank, cable, transporter, tube, electric chest, charge pad, or addiction of the cater. I think I pronounced that right, that's interesting. Anyways, I've altered the coal coke setup to pump into a gigantic iron tank. But because the iron tank gets filled up so quickly, it is currently empty because I let this running. Uh, we get a lot of block of coal cokes, which basically means it's doing nine at the same time, but it takes a lot longer, so it really isn't doing much more. I can just fill it with more stuff. So, And then you get a lot of this underneath these two patches of dirt. There is uh, excursion extraction pipes that take it out of here and put it into the tank. When the tank fills up, I need to do this into a void fluid pipe so that we can store more fluids, but I appear to have left it running. So that's not good. We'll get a lot more. Probably once those two blocks finish up. Um, 
I'm actually going to switch it to tonight because, well, there's two things I want to show you. One is still about the crossbow because it does 20 and a half hearts of damage in a single shot and it resets itself in a second. So that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. So time set night. And run up here, turn the difficulty onto easy. I keep it on peaceful because when I'm just running around, I don't want to have to worry about food or monsters or anything. But during the nighttime, I like to go out and monster hunt. That's what I've been doing. So, I can find somebody. Anybody? Maybe it's not official nighttime yet. I'm still. <laughs> Where is everything? What the? Is there a reason nothing is spawning? Oh, there's an Enderman. Okay. So, there's just none near me. He's angry for some reason. Oh, good. So, zombie, dead. Creeper, dead. Creeper, dead. It's why it, this is why I really like this crossbow, because it's super powerful, and it's probably gonna re work really well in the other stuff that we're doing as soon as Iceberg gets back. So if you still can't shoot end of it with them, the arrow speed is not fast enough. Huh. Those guys normally take more than one hit. Wait, forgot about those. So that's about it for the crossbow. It's just. Excuse me. It's just really powerful. I've been needing this for like a minute. So I'm gonna turn it back. I sneezed so hard my headphones flew off my head. So I'm gonna turn it back to peaceful and back to daytime. Set day. And well I guess I should show you this. This is my oak tree set up. It's made so you can run under it really easy and harvest it a lot easier. This is all randomized. This was organized patterns. But that's not super important. I, I've just been mining uh, some oak tree, oak wood for ice bear to use. Whoops, I threw my skulls in again. Let me get those out again. 30 of this. And... 40 of these because of mathematical ratios and reasons. So the other thing I wanted to show you was actually really interesting. This is a celestial mirror. Here's the recipe. Celestial mirror. It took a lot of bookcases because each one of these is five and you need to make a lot. So there's three here and three more here. Everything else isn't too difficult. It's just kind of fun stuff. We used the vat for some molten gold, and we used, I believe, the vat again to make a polished log from a lot of fish oil. I guess that's something else that I made. So I spare made a setup where you uh, have a few fishing nets out, and then a hopper hawk going into a chest, and you catch these, and then you throw them in the crucible and you get a whole bunch of fish oil out of it. And then you can pump that into the vat and do what you need to do. So the Celestial Mirror is really cool because it's a uh, enchantment table and currently it is set at level 60. So if I put anything in there that can be enchanted, say my leggings, I can enchant them for 60 levels instead of just the normal 30. Which is what I did with my chest plate, which now has Unbreaking 4, Projectile Projection 6, and Thorns 4. Which turns out to be very good for just kind of everything, because Thorns 4 is actually quite powerful. So, while I'm waiting, I'm going to use some Essence Berries. And see if I can get to level 60 and enchant my leggings before fighting the Wither. So right now I'm at 53... 
is going to take a lot more than I thought it would. But it's okay because we have like a few thousand to spare. So, as soon as we get to 60. Then after I do my, do my leggings, I'm going to use my, probably my helmet. And that'll be the next big one. And then I'll do my shoes last. So I just need to be at level 60, which means that. So, level 60, Celestial Mirror, my leggings. I'm not sure if it actually does anything. I don't think it does, but... Protection 4, Unbreaking 5, Thorns 4. Protection is good, right? It means I take less damage. I believe so. Golden Mirror doesn't take much durability either, so... Well, since he's still not back, uh, this was a quest somewhere in here. And there's also this that I'll get to in a minute. But the trans structure, I don't want to do that yet. So you grab a stack of something. I'm just going to do dirt. I don't know why there's coal just floating around randomly. But you can just kind of push it off. Well, if you put it on this edge here. You'll go one up, or you'll go up, or to the side, or to that side, and it's just kind of cool to make a structure with it, even though it does take a lot more durability. So yeah, that's something else I thought was kind of cool, and now we get to wait for Ice Bar to hop back in. So I guess while that happens, I'm going to... Uh, Harvest some logs. See you when he gets back. I think Ice Bear is about to get on. So, actually, I forgot to mention this, but I made three new types of seeds uh, Ardite, Cobalt, and Osmium. Oops. And I actually had to make a new crop circle and get everything hooked up. This chest is hooked up underneath. Um, everything works, so. Uh, cobalt and Ardite make Manulin, uh, and I was being able to, I don't know where I was going with that, but, may as well check out what I made. Oops, why is there coal spreading everywhere? <laughs> so up here, this is the original one, and then I mined out further, and this is mine. So we have some, that's probably Osmium, and that is Ardite. They come over here, they get auto-crafted, just like everything else. I think we need a Void Upgrade here. Yeah, that doesn't have a Void Upgrade. That's probably why coal is scattered everywhere. Uh, where does coal go? goes right here, yeah. Okay. He's still on. But. I may as well go to the nether and show you something else. So. Okay. You just hop out of the portal. And you run up these stairs. And we like to fight above the bedrock, usually. Just because it's a nice big flat area. So you end a pearl through the smallest part, you get up on top, and then you grow dark oak trees. And sometimes it uh, kind of explodes under you, just like this image right here. And then you, um, you have a hole through the bedrock because that's how it grew. And yeah. So now I have an infinite plane that we can do whatever we want with. And it's usually where we like to fight the withers. So, hey look, what is this? This is a aura node from Farmcraft. So if I had my wand with me, I would uh, grab it, but I don't. And I also haven't got into Farmcraft much. So... I'm looking at it, and it says he's on Minecraft, so I guess it's just taking a long time to boot up. 
because I'm waiting for him again. Well, we're headed to the nether. And from what it sounds, Ice Bear <laughs> has lost his crystal bow somewhere in his inventory. And I may just be fighting the withers on my own. But it's okay, because I have five notch apples and a slime crossbow. So I'm going to see what happens. Yeah, I'll wait for him up there. So this leaves enough for 10 withers. I don't know if we want 10 uh, nether stars right now. But it kind of depends on how well the first fight goes. So I'm guessing he found it. Maybe he's just taking a really long time to run up the stairs, or maybe he can't get through the nether. Uh, give me just some. Well, I was kind of right. Ice Bear is currently standing in the portal and not getting anywhere. So I'm probably just going to record the first battle. Nope, there he goes. Probably just lagged out. And then I'll just kind of fight the others. But I kind of want to see how one goes, just to see what happens. So, if I could aim correctly. Three, two, one. Really? Is this not the configurement that I use? Those need to be tilted slightly? <laughs> I don't think they do. S and harvest these. I need to make a shovel. But better than that, I don't know what we're doing wrong. So... <laughs> yeah. We found the problem. Actually, he did. Yeah. Well, let's get going on this with it. And three... Two, one, boink. Stand back and see what my slime crossbow can do. Uh, wait for him to go boom. It doesn't even hurt the landscape, which is, ow, super nice. It's nice that you come after me. I really appreciate that. But he's already down to half health, which means that now I attack him with my cleaver. I think. Oh, I think we may have hit each other. Ooh, cool stuff. A miniature yellow heart, pride shard, and the nether star. Okay, so that was easier than I thought. So I'm going to cut it here and fight the other ten, and then we'll probably head back to base. So, Okay, so we just finished fighting uh, ten withers. Uh, we started fighting him offset so we could get it done faster. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Baby zombie. Um, which means you fight one, and as soon as it's like halfway damaged, you start up the other one. So it can be charging up before you, um, while you kill the first one. And then that goes pretty quickly. And then the last two, we, um, fought at the same time, kind of close to each other. So, whoops, wrong direction. And yeah. So Iceberg got six stars, I got four nether stars, six yellow hearts, and some shards, and other stuff, so. Yeah. I believe we're just gonna end it right about here. Ooh, I got 17 levels from that. Uh, six. He's tapping in the other thing, so. It's a lot easier for him to reach me there. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we can auto stack real quick. And then we will. I guess we'll just kind of end off the episode there. Sweet. Uh, hold on. So I started to said, Do you want to see how much damage my bow does? It seems like it does quite a bit. I think he enchanted it too. Uh, not chapel. <laughs> okay. Go. Do it. 
<laughs> so am I at two hearts? Yep, I'm at two hearts. Well, I don't know anymore because I just got regeneration, but... Either it did nothing to me, or it did ten hearts of damage. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. So with that, I would like to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Regrowth. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I will see you all later.